But back to the subject of sharing out a web service. A web service uses what's called a well-known port such as port 80. A lot of ISPs feel that allowing access to web services on their network is both a security concern and a bandwidth hog. So a lot of times if they do a port scan on your IP address and they find that you're running a web service, you may receive a friendly email from them stating to discontinue this or they may just shut your connection down, depending on their particular policy. One way to deal with this and still stay within the rules of your ISP is to use something called a virtual server. And this is a feature that is on a lot, but not all, home network routers. Setting up a virtual server is very similar to setting up port 40. Instead of setting up port 80 to port 80, as you would with port forwarding, a virtual server gives you the option of creating a public port you can use such as 8088 instead of port 80. Now all traffic making a request for port 8088 on the external IP address of your router is forwarded to the IP address running the web service on port 80 on your internal network. Later I'll demonstrate how to set this up on a router which provides this feature. So for now, let's get started by setting up a network attached storage device on our network and set up port forwarding on our router to allow external traffic coming in from the internet to access it.